what is the most charitable thing for a person to do? Um, well, there's many things. I think there's so many options. There's no shortage of people who are suffering and in need of attention and love and kindness and money and support and things like that. But, but personally, I think the most charitable thing a person can do is be kind to the next person, you know, whether you know them or not, whether they're from your country or not, whether they look like you or not, whether they believe in the religion you believe in or not, whether they're the same color as you or not. I think to me that's the most important charitable thing. You know, it's not even charity, it's just it's just the right thing to do. And I think that's that's kind of the thing about becoming involved in things that you're passionate about, you know. You become involved because you love it or because you, you it, it affected you or affected someone in your family. And I, I find that if we can have compassion for each other, then that's the beginning of everything. So, um, something about your latest album, Girl on Fire, it seems to handle very personal issues. Uh, so has uh, motherhood somehow influenced on your music right now? Definitely, I think motherhood has influenced on big part of my life in every way um, and and in my music for sure but I think mostly it's just how I how I experience things now how I experience the world what I feel you know what I'm what I'm going through you know what I'm understanding more you know what I feel more connected to than ever before so I think just my mentality has changed and in that way it, it has made the music deeper or better or stronger or it made me deeper and better and stronger uh, so, one of your most known track in Finland is um, or Empire State of Mind. So, what was it like to make it? To make Empire State of Mind was, was really incredible. I mean, to be able to collaborate on a song about my hometown is like, you know, a dream come true. And how much I love New York and how much I love where I grew up. So, it was definitely, it was definitely a natural coming together of me and Jay, and Jay growing up in New York, me and growing up in New York. And, and to make it, it was, it was really good. I mean, um, he really said to me, I have this song that I feel like we'll really do something crazy together. And it was apparent the first time that I heard it, even though it wasn't finished or it wasn't done, it just, you could feel like the spirit in it, you know? So it was exciting to be able to help develop that and bring that to the next place. I love that song too. And I love the fact that people from all over the world have related to it the way that I can relate to it. So if I understood right, uh, your childhood has been quite rough in New York, is it so? Yeah, New York is a tough place to grow up and when I was growing up it was definitely, you know, it was, I grew up in a certain part of the city, I grew up with a single mother and we had to work hard to get, get, it, get anything. Uh, when listening to music, uh, there are also some gospel influences. Uh, are you a religious person? I'm a spiritual person. I, I definitely um, am connected to a higher power and a higher being, and so I, I, I like, I call myself spiritual. Okay. So uh, today I was listening to your uh, track, trying to, trying to Sleep With a Broken Heart, mm. so which, which I like very much. And uh, Thank you. <laughs> it's interesting, there are some, I think, some classical moments in it, some classical accords when you are playing piano and uh, some, it reminds me a little bit uh, Bach, Johann Sebastian Bach. So, uh, what is your relationship towards uh, classical music? Yeah, no, definitely. Well, I grew up playing classical music, and that's the music that I studied when I studied piano. So that was a very interesting way for me to learn. And I, you know, I, I can read music, I can write music, and um, and so classical has always followed me. You know, where through my music, even. A lot of times in the in the very beginning with shows, I would start with like a classical intro, and on a lot of my albums, there's like classical created intros and things like that. And I, I love classical music. I love that it feels very soulful and very you know haunting, very powerful, very deep, very you know you can you can feel it. Uh, I really do feel it. So yeah, for a song like "Try Sleeping with a Broken Heart," there are parts of it that do have a classical feel to it. And I love the mixing of the worlds, you know, like the hard drums, the heavy drums, and then classical piano, and then, you know, high, high falsetto vocals, and so I love how it all mixes everything up. Where do you take, uh, in, in general, where do, you, where do you get influences to your music right now? Like, where do I get the inspiration? Inspiration and influences? Influ so. um, all over. I mean, I love listening to music. I love, love hearing new artists. Um, I, reading, reading is a big influence on me and, and how I'll put words together and 
and language, things like that. Um, traveling is a big inspiration too, for sure. Seeing different people, different places, things I never saw before. Understanding, understanding relationships of countries or people, you know, and things like that. Um, my family, big inspiration, you know, emotions, the way that I feel, all of those things, all together. So you mentioned traveling. Are you going to write some song about Finland? I just might. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, something about your visual style and image. Um, mm, how have you created your visual style and image? I mean, um, you are not as flamboyant uh, as, let's say, like Lady Gaga and Madonna. So. Is it so that uh, you want to give more space to music? Um, I just am who I am, you know? I am who I am, and everybody's who they are, you know? And that's the cool part about life. You can be who you are, you know? And and for me, I just, you know, I, I am a person that I'm, um, you know, I grew up in New York. I grew up on the streets. I'm very grounded, you know? I, 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 I kind of got my feet on the ground. That's how I grew up. That's what I experienced. That's what I live. And so that's more my style, you know, and that's that's just me, but I love it. I love how you can be who you are, and I love how you can be who you are on any particular day, because some days you feel different, you know, sometimes you feel more outrageous, sometimes you feel more subtle or quiet or vulnerable or, or you know, intimate, you know, and you can just express yourself how, how you feel that in that moment. What does it mean to you that uh, you are capable to make your own songs? It means a lot to me to be able to write and produce and create and play and arrange my own music. It's definitely, it's liberating. I don't have to wait for anyone to do it for me. I don't have to be at any the mercy of anybody. I can just really express myself and, and what I'm feeling or what I'm seeing or, you know, whatever's going on. It, it really, I remember probably it's one of the things I'm most grateful for because you know, when you're younger and, and you have to study something, it gets hard and you feel like, you know, maybe no one else is working as hard as you and you sometimes wonder if it's good to do or if you just want to go out and hang out. <laughs> but one of the things I'm most grateful for is being able to actually have put that time in that gave me the opportunity to be the, the, the master of my own destiny and, and create what I hear, you know, in my head. So you mentioned working. Uh, what do you do when you are not working? How do you spend your leisure time? I, I, I love to sleep a lot, um, but I don't get to sleep a lot because I have a baby, so that's not really happening too much. I love to read, and I didn't get to read a lot when he was really young either because it's like I was probably trying to sleep more. <laughs> but now um, I can read too a lot more. I love that. Um, I love to swim. I love to run. Um, I love to I actually really found a love of bike riding since I've been in Europe. Like, you know, I would go to each city and find a bike and just ride it around and it was awesome. It's such a cool way to experience a city and just like be free. Um, yeah, so I don't watch a lot of movies, I realize. I don't watch a lot of TV at all. <laughs> okay, so mm. <clears throat> we are going to end. So this is a last question. Uh, our viewers like to know a little bit about your future plans. What are you going to do in the future? In my future, I mean, I, I, I plan to, I'm taking this, my show, which is Set the World on Fire, all the way through to December. So I'm, I'm excited to be able to be here. I go to South America, I go to Southeast Asia, I go to Australia. I'm so happy to be able to do that and bring the music all those places. I'm definitely going to be working on a new album soon. I have so much to say and, and speak on. Um, but my future, I want it to involve a lot of happiness, a lot of peace and a lot of happiness, real, the real thing, you know, the real thing that goes beyond having anything or, you know, anything other than like inner, inner peace. So, um, but I, I have, I, I'm, I'm a crazy person. I like to do a hundred million things. <laughs> so I'm really waiting for your concert. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to meet you and Thank discuss you. with you. Thank you.